Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Now that trout you just saw caught was caught up at Lake Shasta. It's a big beautiful rainbow and my wife hooked that fish trolling a shad pattern spoon behind a UV sling blade dodger. So I got a question for you. Are UV lures and blades a rip off? Are they just a, a marketing gimmick to get you to spend more of your hard earned money on fishing tackle? What do you think? It's a standard sling blade like this guy right here, just as good as a, as a fancy UV model like this one. Um, how about spoons, when it comes to spoons? Is this, is this old school blue and chrome humdinger that I love so much, just as good as the, uh, as the fa fancy UV model of the humdinger? Well, the real answer is no. UV lures are not a gimmick um, and they're not just a sales pitch trying to extract more of your hard-earned cash. Um, they are very effective fish catchers in a lot of situations, and here's why. Predatory fish, salmon, trout, stripers, musky, black bass, everything that chases down a minnow and eats it for lunch, they're able to um, collect UV light, their eyes are able to collect UV light in a much different way than humans and they can detect it very well. So there's a whole spectrum of, of light that we're not aware of, but the fish are very tuned into. And what they use that for, they use it for feeding during low light conditions, when they're in very deep water where light penetration is minimal, and when the water is murky, muddy, or off color. And that doesn't just happen in the winter. Sometimes the water is murky and off color when there's a lot of plankton in the water. Um, the, big, uh, the big algae bloom or plankton bloom at Lake Shasta comes to mind. Um, the krill blooms in the ocean come to mind when you're out there catching salmon in brown water. So that's, you know, murky water just doesn't occur because of rain and runoff and mud. It can occur because of organisms in the water as well. Anytime you're faced with those challenges, a UV blade or lure can definitely get you more strikes. Simply because the fish can see your gear better, they can zero in on your baits more effectively, and when they can, you know, when they can see your bait more often, they're gonna strike more often. Simple as that. So deep water, low light conditions, murky water, you should deploy UV blades and lures. Um, is there a disadvantage? Some guys think so. There's not a lot of research, but some folks think if you're fishing shallow and you've got high blue skies and clear water, that UV flash might be a little much, okay? Think about it like this. We're sitting down to dinner, we turn on the light in the kitchen, man, we're getting ready to eat that big cheeseburger, it's great, we can see our food, it's wonderful. Now, you've seen those, those, uh, those million candle power, you know, spotlights you could put in your truck. How would you like to eat your dinner if I was shining that in your face? Would that be comfortable? Would it make you want to eat your dinner? Probably not. It hurts your eyes. You'd be like, dude, turn that light out. Some guys think that if you're fishing shallow and it's sunny and the water's clear, the flash from the UV can be a lot like that spotlight and it can actually drive fish away. So just kind of keep that in mind. But most of the time, UV is going to help you catch trout and salmon. So, you know, do you need to go take your tackle box, throw everything away and replace it with UV lures and, and, and blades? Probably not. By all means, pick up some UV stuff moving forward, but you can make your old school existing lure collection UV very simply and uh, without spending a whole bunch of money. I'm talking about applying some Procure Super Gel Scent to your blades and your lures. Now you're probably already using this stuff. Well, what you might not know is it's UV enhanced. So when you put the Procure Super Gel on your blades, on your lures, you're getting that UV advantage. Also for guys that like to fish places like Pyramid Lake where they don't allow you to use scent, folks at Procure sell UV gel. It doesn't have a flavor, doesn't have a scent, but it still gives you the UV advantage. So. If you, if you want to really tap into the fish's senses, you should absolutely be running UV lures a lot of the time. And uh, for your collection of old, you know, accumulated lures you've had forever before UV technology became available, just put a little coating of the Procure on there and you're going to get all the benefits of running a UV lure. That's all I got for right now. 
Get yourself some UV lures, get yourself some Pro Cure, and get out there and get after those fish. If you employ some UV tactics throughout the rest of the season, you're going to catch more and bigger fish. I guarantee it. Um, please hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't. I want to thank you for watching my videos and supporting the channel. I'll be back real soon, and we'll be talking more fishing tactics. This is Kel Kellogg, and I'm signing off. Thanks, folks.